Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Madison. Thank you so much for joining. Today, as you guys can tell from the title, I'm going to be doing a Hot Topic and Disney haul. Uh, I got some Funkos in here, got some items, so I am really excited to share with you guys. First off, excuse the different... <laughs> layout i am currently cleaning the room that i film in so like everything is everywhere so i think for the next couple videos this is going to be my background right now just as i'm literally redoing the whole room and i might be switching rooms with my dad so bear with me please excuse this if you like it let me know because maybe i can film like this for a little while i have some like i said some funkos i have some disney pins um and Hot Topic exclusive items, I think. So I'm going to be unboxing those with you and sharing them with you guys today. Also, if you see me in the same top or makeup for the next video, it's because I'm pre-filming because I am super busy this week coming up with work and whatnot. So I'm just trying to pre-film as I can. But anyways, I'm gonna stop babbling and we're just gonna get right on into it. So first off, I'm gonna start with all of the Funkos that I got. So I was at Sunrise Records and they were having a buy one, get one on Funkos and I'm upset that I didn't get more but like I don't need them all. I'm starting to collect the Crimes of Grindelwald series. So this is Gellert Grindelwald himself. This is just the regular one um, and there is three, six, seven, eight Funkos in this series. Um, so this is him here with his little wand and he's just a regular. He's not like a chaser or an exclusive or anything. I'll give you a quick close-up of him in just a second. So that is what he looks like right there. And those are all of the Funkos that you can collect in this series. So I'm super excited to start off with him. Next up for that series, I was able to get Picket, which I am so excited about. He is definitely one of my favorite little sidekicks into the movie. So uh, again, he is not a chaser or an exclusive or anything. He's just a regular one. But I did try and go into another store to get another one for my friend. And he said that they have been kind of hard to come by. So, so I don't know what's up with that. But um, he is probably, besides Newt and the baby Nifflers, he's probably one of my favorite ones. I'm not really excited about any of the other ones, really. Yeah, no. I definitely want the baby Nifflers, but I couldn't find them anywhere. I couldn't find them anywhere. Um, so I am super excited to have him as well. And then obviously, if I'm going to start collecting this, I need to get Newt himself. So this is Newt Scamander here himself. Um, again, I didn't get any chasers or anything, just the regular ones. So super excited to have him. Then there is also um, Albus Dumbledore. A couple of the other beasts, but again, I'm not really interested in them. Um, but again, I do want the Nifflers, and it's two baby Nifflers, so they're really, really cute. But I'm so happy I was able to grab him as well. So those are the only ones from the Crimes of Grindelwald I grabbed. I also got two more Nightmare Before Christmas ones because I am now pretty much almost done the full set. So I had to grab the Harley Quinn um, Demon. I didn't have this one. The only thing I'm really sad about is, I don't know if you guys can see, but the box is just pretty much opening. All of these boxes I try and grab in mint condition. Um, I c collect them in the box. I don't actually take them out. I'm one of those people. Don't kill me. So that's the only thing that I'm a little sad about, that it keeps opening, but it's going to be sitting on a shelf anyway, so you won't be able to tell. I do have Snowman Jack, Sally, Oogie Boogie, and now the Harley Quinn, and I do have another one. So I'm only missing Dr. Finkelstein and the clown for this 25-year anniversary collection that they released, so that's really exciting to me. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. It is my number one movie. To go along with that one, I did end up getting the vampire teddy with the little evil duck. So this was the only one, besides the two that I just mentioned that I didn't have, that I grabbed. And again, I don't know what's up with these. Like, they're literally not sealed or something. So that's a little annoying. But again, it's going to be sitting on a shelf. This box is in pretty much mint condition besides the opening on the bottom. It's kind of cool. So I think this one does come with a stand. I don't think any of the other ones do. No. So this one does come with a stand, but again, I collect them in the boxes, so this is how it will sit on my shelf. 
And then last but not least, because it was buy one, get one, I did end up getting something for my dad. I don't know if he is in the other room listening to this or if he will watch this video, so I kind of don't really want to completely show it. Don't know if he'll make it this much into the video. Um, but I did get him this, which I'll leave on the screen because I don't want to say it. Um, but I just think it's really funny. It's kind of like an inside joke that we have with the family of who he is. So we're just going to and put that off to the side. So that was everything that I got from Sunrise. I will tell you the total because it was buy one, get one. So for all six Funkos, it was only $55. So I think that's pretty thick and good, especially because most of the times my pops I am here in Canada are between $14 to $17 each. So I pretty much got them about $10, $25 each. So Definitely a steal of a deal, I have to say. Next up, I'm gonna move into the Disney Store stuff that I got, and I will leave the Hot Topic stuff for last. So I just got a couple items here from the Disney Store. I first picked up this three pack of journals. It has Aladdin, Little Mermaid, as well as Tangled. I just thought these were really cute. So these are regularly $17.95, and I did get them on sale. I will quickly take them out to show you guys. So first off, we have You Mer Made For Me, so like You Were Made For Me, which is so cute. So this is it here. I will give you a close up and then on the back it says, Oh My Disney. It is lined um, and these pages are blue and there is a little bit of a, I don't know if you can tell actually, there is a little steer, what is this called? Thing to steer a boat. Anyways. That little wooden wheel thing do you know what I'm talking about <laughs> oh my god I'm butchering this I I don't know what it is comment down below if, if you know what I'm talking about but anyways these are so cute I actually picked these up because I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a box trade with someone here on YouTube that's into Disney as I can't really get a lot of stuff here where I live so I just figured I'd pick these up and then kind of whatever ones I didn't want or if someone wanted one I could trade with someone kind of understand what I mean so this one is cute it's probably my favorite out of the three of them um I do love the little mermaid so I'm definitely probably going to be keeping this one so next up this is can't stop the smolder I'm forgetting what his name is something Ryder, right Flynn is it Flynn Am I right? Flynn Rider? I don't know. It doesn't sound right. Anyways, this is whoever. And it says, can't stop the smolder. And then again, it says, oh, my Disney on the back. And then, so I'm kind of getting the feeling that whatever color the back of the book is, is the same color as the page. And then it has on the side here, him climbing up her hair to get to her into the tower. So this is really cute. I like this one. I still think I like the mermaid one more. I'm not too sure. But anyways, again, I picked these up for like, I think it was 15, 16 bucks. No, it's regular 17. I think it picked up for like 10 bucks then. Probably about 10 bucks. So that's that one. And then last but not least is Aladdin. And it says Stealing Hearts, which is so cute. And then again, oh my Disney on the back. And I'm assuming these pages will be purple, yes. And then it is the genie's little... I didn't want to say lantern thing, but you know what I'm talking about. I'm just, I am really bad with these words today, guys. Oh my God, I should not be filming. <laughs> but anyways, with purple lines on the inside, these are really cute. I definitely can see myself using these or also giving them away to people as well. So to go along with those little notebooks, I got pins. I'm gonna open these quickly because it's gonna be really loud. I'm so excited. So these are regular $19.99. I did get them on sale. And the reason why I got these, when I give you a close up, you can tell. It has, again, the same three guys on it as the books. So I could give this to whoever I'm gonna trade a box with or if I wanna keep some for myself. I can, but I also was thinking about more of trading them with someone else. So I will give you a quick close up. So those were the four pins in that set. And again, it was $19.95. I did get them on sale. So I think this would be so cute if I end up trading with someone or doing a box swap. I could give them a pin matching to their book, which is really cute. I did pick up two other pins as well. I should say two other sets. 
So next up is this little set. It was $17.95 and you have Cogsworth and Lumiere. Oh my god, they're so cute. This is obviously from Beauty and the Beast if you don't know. Um, so Cogsworth says unwind and then Lumiere says lighten up. I will give you guys a close-up of them. They're so cute. I currently don't own any pins except for these ones, so I'm so excited to have them in my collection. And then this is the last pins that I got from Disney Store, and this is Sebastian and Scuttle, and Sebastian says Silly Sidewalker, and then Scuttle says Smooth Talker, so I think this is so cute, and again, I'm so excited to add these to my collection. They both have 2019 on the back as well as pin trading, and again, for the set, it was $17.95. So that was everything that I got from the Disney store. And then last but not least are some things that I picked up from Hot Topic. So going on the whole theme about pins, I obviously had to pick up some other ones, but these guys were on sale. So of course I had to pick up some Nightmare Before Christmas ones. And I also picked up my favorite Disney Pixar movie, Monsters, Inc. So the Nightmare Before Christmas pins regularly retail for $8.90 and I got them for $6. So I had to get the Oogie Boogie on the Hill with the singing pumpkins. And they are a Disney lounge fly. Yep. Yeah. Item. And on the back it just says Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. And Disney doesn't have any like waffling or anything on the back. And then the other Nightmare Before Christmas pin that I did pick up was obviously Jack himself. This one I really like. There is a bit of like a paint chipping on it. Again, he was $8.90 and I got him for $6. If it wants to focus right on here, there's a little bit of paint chip. Or it looks like something's on him. I'm gonna try and clean it off after I stop filming. But that is the other one I picked up. Again, I'm just starting my collection, so I'm really, really happy that I got those. And then I also picked up Boo in her little outfit. This one's really cute. So this was a Disney Pixar lounge fly, and this was regularly $10.90, and I got this one for $7. Um, so I'm so excited to have this little one. I feel like it's really little compared to the other ones. I guess not, like it's not too bad. But I'm so excited to finally have some pins. I am getting a pin board, which I'm really excited about as well. But speaking of pins, I had to pick up... Oh my god, just look at these, okay guys? Mystery pin boxes. Oh, as I throw them. I am so excited to have these. So I have two... As I'm throwing this one around... I have two Disney Loungefly blind box pins. Contains one collector's, and these are $11.90 each. And then I have one, obviously, Nightmare Before Christmas mystery blind box as well. And this was $8.90. So those are what the boxes look like there. And these are the ones that you can get on the back. And then that's the front of the Nightmare Before Christmas one. And that's the back. I would be happy with any of these ones. <laughs> I'm a big Nightmare Before Christmas fan. So I'm gonna start off with one of the lounge fly ones. <gasps> okay, so it comes in a little black bag. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, who am I most excited for? I would really like Ursula, Alice in Wonderland, or Stitch, probably. Then I would maybe have Woody, Snow White, Dumbo. Oh my god, I would have any of them. But I'm definitely hoping for Ursula, Alice in Wonderland, or Stitch. Okay. Who did I get? Oh, I got Dumbo! Oh my god, this is so cute. I definitely have to pick up more of these. Oh my god, I love the little coloring. So there it is, right there. It is so cute. That was in the first box. I am then going to open the Nightmare Before Christmas one. Again, I would be so happy with any of them. Um, and, oh, I thought it came with two for a minute because the bag was so big, but it came with one. So I would be happy with Lock Shocker Barrel, Christmas Santa, or all three of them in the bathtub, or Oogie Boogie. Yeah, okay. This one feels kind of big. Okay. Oh. 
Who did I get? Oh my god, I got Locke. I told you I'd be so happy with either of them. Oh my god, this is so unbelievable. I love it. The design, like the detail is unbelievable. Wow. I feel like he's the size of my fingernail. Like honestly, look. <laughs> but he's so cool. I definitely need to pick up more of those. Okay, and last but not least is my Disney Lounge Fly one. I hope I don't get a repeat. It would really suck if I got a repeat. All right. I can't grab it. Who did I get? <gasps> I got Alice in Wonderland. Oh my God, in a little teacup. Oh my god, definitely one of my favorites besides Boo today. Oh my god. Okay, I am so happy. Again, I got what I wanted. I definitely would have been okay with Stitch and Ursula. Like, I really, really want Ursula, but I am so happy. I got Alice in Wonderland. That is my second favorite movie. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I think that is all my little Disney unboxings. Okay, I'm back. I'm kidding. I lied. I had two more things. I knew I had two more things to open with you guys. Duh. So, I got a pint size Hero, the Disney ones. And I'm really hoping for Mike or Sully. Boo, obviously. Dumbo. I think those are probably, probably my most favorite. So, those are all the ones on the back. I'm really excited for pretty much this middle row. Mike, Sully, Boo, and Dumbo would probably be my favorite ones. Then I also have a mystery mini plushy Disney ones as well. So this one you could get Mickey, Tink, Mike, Sully, Stitch, Ariel, Buzz, Woody, and Winnie the Pooh. I'm probably hoping for Mike or Sully, Buzz because I love Buzz, and Stitch. Yeah, those would probably be my guesses for the bag. And again, those are all the ones on the back there that you can get. So I'm going to start off with the pint size heroes first. Who did I get? I got Dumbo! Oh my god. There's something else in here. Oh, okay. It's like a little checklist, but there is... Guys, there's exclusive ones that aren't even on the bag. Oh my god. Baymax and Baymax in a costume. Lilo and Stitch. Dudes, look. Those are all the exclusive ones, those six on the bottom. I'm so happy I got Dumbo. Look, you can go with my little Dumbo pin. Where did I put it? I have a little Dumbo corner I could start. Oh my God, that's so cute. Okay, I got Dumbo. Can I get Dumbo in this? No, okay, I'm like, wouldn't it be funny if I got Dumbo? All right. Who did I get? <gasps> I got Stitch! Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh my goodness. I need to go get more of these. He's so soft. I like how they have little backpack clips. My daughter's probably going to take this from me. Oh my goodness. So he was three out of every 18. Oh my god, I'm so happy I got him. I'm gonna get lipstick all over him. Look at how cute he is. And then look at his little back. Oh my god, he's adorable. I love him so much. I need to get more of these. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little mystery mini unboxing slash haul Funko. I don't know how I'm gonna call this. I don't know what I'm gonna title it, to be completely honest. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for joining. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. If you aren't already, click that subscribe button before you leave, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!